Hello year two, we are back for another maths challenge. I hope you're enjoying our new art topic. I am learning lots of new things about artists. Before we start, I've got a little bit of a problem. Do you think you could help me? There are two museums that need to share all of these paintings, but I don't really know how we could share them and make it fair. What do you think we could do? Have a think throughout this video and we'll come back to it later and hopefully we'll solve the problem. Our learning objective today is to use division and equals. Remember, division is like the opposite of multiplication. When we divide, we're taking an amount like six and we are sharing it equally between a certain amount of groups. So if I wanted to share six between two people, I wonder what we would get. Let's have a look. I've got six pens and I want to share them between two people. Here are my people. So to make it fair, we are going to give one to each person at a time. So person one gets one pen, person two gets one pen and another one. And another one. And I keep going until I've got no pens left. All of my pens are gone. Now I have to make sure that it is equal. I know it's equal if there are the same in each group. So person one has three pens and person two has three pens. So it's equal. So we wanted to share six pens between two people. So as a number sentence, that would be six divided by two because I had six pens, that was my total. I divided it by two people and how many pens did they get each? Can you remember? It was three. Six divided by two equals three. Okay, year two, now it is your turn. It's a chance to get your brain warmed up before we carry on. I want you to go on a scavenger hunt around your house. I want you to try and find 10 objects. It could be absolutely anything. It could be pasta. It could be pens. It could even be some socks from your bedroom. I want you to see if you can share those 10 objects into two equal groups. Remember, equal groups means they have to be the same in each. And then see if you can share those 10 objects into five equal groups. Do you think you'll be able to do both? I'll see you in a minute. Let me know how you get on. How did you get on? I found 10 paint brushes. I split them into two equal groups and had five in each group. I could then share them between five groups and have two in each group. What did you find out? Let's have a go at writing that as a number sentence. So we had 10 objects. Remember our learning objective, we are using division. So 10 divided by, I'm gonna do my first one first. So I shared it between two groups first. And I had five in each group. Let's try it for the next one. So we still had our 10 objects, but this time we shared them between five groups and I had two in each group. So that's how you would write it as a number sentence. I'm going to show you another way that we can work out division problems now. And it kind of reminds me a bit of an artist called Kandinsky. You might recognize it from the cheek of Mrs. Haynes because Kandinsky loved using circles in his artwork. And circles are a really good thing that can help us with division. Let me show you what I mean. I've got the number sentence 14 divided by two. So I'm going to share 14 into two circles. I'm gonna make sure that I share one dot at a time because that way it's equal. If I don't have the same amount of dots at the end, I can't divide 14 by 2. But it's always important that you check back in case you've made a mistake. 
So I can see that I've got seven dots in each group. Now it is your turn, year two. You are going to have a go at doing 15 divided by five. So remember, how many circles are we going to draw? We are going to draw five. And think about how many dots you're going to share out. Pause the video now and have a go. How did you get on? I had a go. I drew my five circles and I shared my 15 dots and I found that there were three in each group. So I know that 15 divided by five is three. We're going to have an hour turn now and I've got 21 divided by 10. I wanted to do it with you because it just looks a bit tricky. I don't know if it's going to work. Do you think it is? If you don't, why not? Can you explain it to a grown-up? Grab a piece of paper if you haven't got one already and let's have a go at this one together. How many circles do I need to draw? How many groups? That's right, I'm going to draw 10. Make sure you don't draw your circles too small because you might lose track of the dots that you put in. So I've got 10 groups and I'm going to share 21 dots. You have a go and I'll have a go and we'll come back and see what we find out. Oh no, are you having the same problem as I am year two? I've shared out my 21 dots but they're not equal. I know they're not equal because in all nine of these circles there's two dots but in my tenth one there's three and to be equal they must have the same in each one. I wonder why it's not working. What do you think? I think I figured it out. We can't do 21 divided by 10 because 21 isn't in the 10 times table. Can you remember the rules for the 10 times table? They always have to end in a zero. 21 doesn't end in a zero. So if I change this to 20, do you think it'll work now? Let's have a look. That's better. I've shared out my dots again, and now I've got two in each group. So 20 divided by 10 is two. Pause the video and have a go at these. There are four different number sentences, but I wonder if all of them will work. Will you be able to solve them and have equal groups for them all? What do you think? Here's your check. It was possible to solve three of them, but 11 divided by two couldn't be done because 11 is not in the two times table. How did you get on? Hmm. Now we've done all of that awesome work using Kandinsky circles to help us with division. I think I know how to solve the problem I was talking about at the start. Remember, I had all of those paintings that had to be shared between two museums. I didn't know how to do it before, but you've helped me here too. Should we have a go together? It's pretty tricky to count on here, but I persevered and there are 26 paintings. I want to share them between two museums. Pause and see if you can write that as a number sentence. I have 26 paintings and I want to share them between two museums. Did you get that number sentence? So what do we need to do? We need to draw two circles and we need to share 26 between them. I know it'll work because 26 is in the two times table. So it should be an equal split between the two museums. I'll see you in a second, see if you can work it out and we'll see if we get the same answer. How did you get on year two? I've done it. I had to make sure that I didn't do my dots too close together because that's quite a large number to share out. I got 13 in each group. So each museum will get 13 of those wonderful paintings. There is another way that you can do it year two. You can count in twos until you get to 26. And how many fingers you have is your answer. Don't worry if you're not quite there yet and you want to carry on drawing the circles, 
that's fine. But for any of you that are feeling confident enough, let's have a go at counting in our twos until we get to 26 and see if we get 13 fingers just to check. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six. So I had ten fingers, then three. So ten out of three is thirteen. And we got the same answer. Let's have another practice. Remember, if you're finding it a bit tricky to do it like this and you want to carry on drawing the circles, that's fine, but we're going to have a look to see how it's done. So for this first one, eight divided by two, we're going to be counting in twos until we get to the number eight. And how many fingers we have is our answer. So let's count in twos and stop when we get to eight. Two, four, six, eight. I've got four fingers, so the answer is four. Let's have a look at the next one. We've got 10 divided by five. So I'm going to be counting in fives until I get to 10. Count with me. Five, 10. How many fingers have I got? Two. So the answer is two. And for this last one, when we're counting in our tens, that's the one that I would definitely try to do in your head because usually it means that you have to draw a lot of dots. So if you can do this one in your head, it will help you a lot. Let's count in tens until we get to 30. Here we go. 10, 20, 30. How many fingers have I got? Three. So the answer is three. Now, some of you might have noticed that this one, eight divided by two equals four, is just half. Because when you divide by two, you're just halving the first number. Half of eight is four. I just thought I'd share that little fact with you. You have done an awesome job year two, but now it's your turn for some chili challenges. Here is chili challenge one. There are four number sentences. Remember to draw your circle and share out the first number. For it to work, the number in each group must be equal. If you're finding it tricky drawing, you could always try and find some objects around your house to help you, like we did at the start. Here is Chili Challenge 2. There are six number sentences here. Now, you could either draw the circles like we'd practised, or for the bigger numbers like 80 divided by 10, you might want to think about counting in tens and seeing how many fingers you have. And here is Chili Challenge 3. Monet wants to share 43 paints with five other artists. Will he be able to share them equally? How do you know? Think about what your number sentence would be. Think about what we know about those numbers. See if you can write your answer using the phrase, I know because... And we've got an extra spicy challenge. It's a bit of an investigation. We've done something similar a while ago in class. Jackson Pollock has 20 paintbrushes. How many different ways can he put them into equal groups? Remember, don't start with a random number. Start with one group first. You know all 20 will fit in one group. And then work it out from there. Write down all of the possible ways that he could do it. Well done, Year 2. You have done an awesome job with Division today. You've definitely helped me a lot and I hope I've helped you a lot as well. I can't wait to see what you get up to with those tricky challenges. Make sure you send them in to us at our Year 2 email address. And remember, you can always practice your multiplication and division on TT Rockstars and hit the button. I'll see you soon for another challenge. Bye!